Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Claudita. How are you? I'm fine. So... Hey. Hey, I love the stars on your window. They look so nice. Thank you. Christmas light. <laughs> yes, they look very beautiful. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. And you? I am doing doing great. Arriving, running, but happy <laughs> to be here. Yeah, I, I, I really love this um, adrenaline. <laughs> of the night that you are like, oh, it's almost time and you are running to connect everything. Yeah, I, I really like that, that part of my day. It happened to me too. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah, I really, I really enjoy it because uh, during the day, I do a lot of administrative stuff. I, I check on teachers, on classes, on students, on many things, but um, I only teach at night. So when I am going to teach, I am like, yeah, I'm going to teach and I get very excited about it. But it's, it is really nice. Hello, Jenny. Welcome. Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Thanks. Okay. Very, very good to know. Emmanuel, how are you? Hello, good, <clears throat> good evening. Um, I'm so sorry because yesterday I couldn't join in the meeting. So now uh, I just arrived at my house because I was working in the, in the, in the, in the day. So I'm so sorry, um, just my cell phone is, the camera is not working properly now. Don't worry. We hope okay. that it, it works later on. Don't worry, don't worry. Okay, thank you so much. <clears throat> okay, it, it is always, well, Emmanuel, welcome <laughs> to the class. <laughs> thank you. Welcome, Rosa Esmeralda. It's a pleasure to have you here. Okay, good, good. Go ahead, Gladys. Fix whatever you need to fix. It's okay. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for uh, the activity of today of the audios, it was like kind of challenging at the beginning and it was like, yeah, yeah, maybe this and that and and you doubt. But I wanted to, to talk about that topic today because that is a very good way to practice. I am going to wait for mo more of your classmates to connect so uh, I can actually explain how it works because uh, today I was doing like the testing to see if you did it or not, right? Hoy era como la prueba piloto. Vamos a ver qué piensan, dije yo. Si se lanzan, no se lanzan a la aventura de los audios. But it works very, very well. In many of the cases, you say, I know, they are going to listen to me. And oh, what a shame, right? But it is a very good practice. I mean, to break out the barriers of the fear is the most important thing. And it was just one minute talking. Solo era un minuto de audio, imagínense. ¿Ya habían hecho alguna actividad así como esa? ¿De enviar audios en algún de algún tema específico en inglés? ¿No? ¿En los módulos anteriores? ¿Nunca? Ok, so, eh, la actividad consiste en que cada día les doy un tema diferente. Y todos los días ustedes practican enviando un audio sobre el tema que les envío. Ahora fue como la pregunta de eh, cuál es lo que más recuerdan de las vacaciones en su infancia. Entonces el día de mañana van a tener otro tema. Y así les mando yo todos los días un tema para que ustedes puedan practicar. Speaking is the most difficult area of English. Speaking is the most difficult because we make it difficult. Okay. Es difícil porque nosotros lo, lo pensamos que es difícil. And you say, ay no, es que no puedo, teacher, no me sale. No, no puedo, teacher, por más que quiero. And you don't try. So, or you are afraid and you say, <clears throat> de repente uno que otro me preguntaba, se lo mando a usted directo, teacher. 
And I said, no, to the group, <laughs> because I need all the group to listen. And you can listen to the audios, you can learn from your friends, you can learn from their mistakes, you can comment on, on their audios as well. If you listen to something that you like, you can comment on it, but make the comment on, on writing, okay? Siempre, escuchen los audios de sus compañeros y si quieren comentarlos, comenten en writing. ¿Para qué? Para que no estén mandando nota de voz sobre nota de voz, ¿verdad? Entonces es como, ahí practicamos dos cosas, practicamos listening, practicamos speaking, practicamos writing, ¿ok? Y todos los skills se cumplen con el ejercicio. It is a very good way to develop vocabulary. Another student was asking me. Otro estudiante me preguntaba, teacher, ¿y si lo pongo en el traductor y lo leo? And I said, no. That's not the idea, ¿ok? Esa no es la idea. La idea es que ustedes vengan y me cuenten algo que les nació del tema que les mando. Que puede tener errores, que puede tener mala pronunciación de alguna palabra, que puede estar alguna oración tal vez al revés. It's okay. It is okay to make mistakes. But it is a good opportunity for you to listen to yourself. A veces somos bien rápidos para captar los errores de los compañeros. Dice, hey, oye lo que dijo. Ahí se equivocó. Eso está malo. Pero cuando termine de enviar su audio, el primero que lo tiene que escuchar es usted. Escúchese y diga, quiero ver. Quiero oír. Bueno, es chistoso que dice, ¿viste el audio? It's not possible, right? <laughs> But yeah, that's another joke. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself on the audio. And if you say like, hey, uy, I made a mistake. Well, but you learn from it. And listen to your friends' audios as well. And I uh, came up with that idea, but I want to know from you. Okay? Eh, yo les puse esta actividad. Se las envié así, se los lancé al agua. A ver qué pasa, dije. Ahí tuvimos respuestas, un montón de audios. ¿Qué piensan? ¿Les parece la actividad? ¿Cómo se sintieron? Eh, ¿qué, qué, ¿Cuál fue su reacción? ¿Cómo, cómo, ¿Cómo fue la cosa? Para ver cómo la podemos trabajar que sea beneficiosa para todos nosotros. A ver, cuéntenme, ¿qué les parece? I like it. You like it. That's nice. <laughs> Ajá. Yeah. ¿Qué más? ¿Los demás? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Cómo se sintieron al ver la tarea? I, I feel strange because I tried to structure the ideas and uh -huh. I and it was good because it effort to myself to to try to express the idea. I like it, the, the exercise. Good. It is going to be every day, so love it. <laughs> Agarrenle cariño porque va a ser de todos los días. Uh huh. Oh, I'm. I'm agree. Um, with my classmate, it's very, it's very important practice. Uh, if we need, if we need to improve our, um, our English, um, pronunciation and uh, grammar structure. Very good. Sentences. Uh -huh. And we need to improve our English fluency too. Okay. Thank you very much, Jose Arturo. Any other comment? All the comments are good for me. Okay. Todos los comentarios me sirven a mí para ir estructurando las actividades de acuerdo a sus necesidades. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Quién se sintió asustado con la, con la actividad? A ver, raise your hand. Ajá, you, uh -huh. go ahead, Carlos. Yeah, Carlos, Carlos, go ahead. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, good night, everyone. Hello, good um, evening. This, this morning I was uh, a little bit afraid. Uh, from time to time, uh, I feel nervous when somebody Uh, tell me that that I have to to speak to speak in English, 
but this day I repeat over and over again uh, that that audio. And just right now I feel uh, smooth. Uh -huh. My mouth. Uh -huh. I believe to to repeat that that routine, but to improve nice. my speaking skills. Nice, I like that idea. Good. So, Luis Roberto, you told me that you felt scared. Uh huh. Tell me about it. And then Jenny, <clears throat> Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Sorry, I'm changing your name. Well. Um, I feel scary because I don't practice the English in the most thing because I'm I'm stop at my studies in academy and after, uh, before I go two years two years ago uh -huh. uh, two years ago and I restart my studies now. Ok, but you see, it is going to help you a lot. Ya le voy a contar qué pasó con el grupo que lo empecé a hacer hace un montón de meses. Jenny. Uh, the activity, it was good for me. In other modules, uh, has been used Baccaroo. Oh, Baccaroo, we, that's good, ajá. Uh -huh. We recorded uh, and it and upload. It's an uploading. Uh, the the recorded and uh, it it can be another option for the pronunciation good very good I think. you know i i tried that one and i try many other apps but whatsapp the benefit is that everybody can listen and everybody can learn and everybody will be in the same level in many of the cases, I, I tried this activity with beginners number three. And they were like, teacher, but we are too little. Teacher, we are just starting. Teacher, we don't know. And I said, yes, you can do it. I know you can do it. And at the beginning, it was like, uh, 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 just one or two sentences. <clears throat> but then it was like more and a little bit more. And later, at the end of the module, they were a lot better in English. It is a matter of being constant. Mr. Joaquin, tell me. Okay, teacher. Um, it's a good idea um, to listen myself <laughs> because I, I listen in my mistake <laughs> to speak in English. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, that is that is the best part so that's why i say el primero que se tiene que escuchar es usted yes you have to be the first one why because you say oh listen to the teacher oh she made a mistake oh yeah she, that is not correct but when we listen to ourselves we say like no. i need to improve <laughs> listen to my fluency i i do the eh, uh, uh, mm, mm, a lot <laughs> so <laughs> it, yeah. it is self-improvement right el primer crítico tiene que ser with your audio and then with the other ones you can comment okay yes. para los otros audios es más que todo comentar si algo de lo que dijeron les pareció les pareció interesante y todo oh. eh, de repente hay un tema por ahí que se refiere a los regalos eh, y lo ocupé con un, con un grupo anterior que de repente decían hey, yo también tuve uno de esos que no sé qué que no sé cuánto y era como it was a very nice interaction with them but with the other audios you listen to them and you can comment about the audio right it is not like oh you did this if you want to make a, a correction about a grammar mistake you can also do it you can also do a pronunciation correction if you know what is correct you can help each other the idea is that we grow together okay Aquí todo vamos ir jalando ahí para arriba, la red de pescadito. for us to grow together that's the idea of this practice. So I have permission from my students to continue doing it. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Likes? Of course. Give me a like if you want to continue. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Of course, but I 
but I need to go ahead, teacher. But I need constructive criticism. <laughs> No, 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 that's, that's what, okay. eso es lo que les digo, eso es lo que, that's what I am telling you, eso es lo que les digo, con los otros audios, ustedes con mucho respeto los escuchan, pueden agarrar alguna idea, alguna, algún comentario de lo que dijeron, por ejemplo, si, ah, yo puedo practicar la guitarra, yo puedo tocar guitarra, hey, qué chido, que no sé qué, que no sé qué, good comments, right, good comments on the other audios, and that is going to be really, really good for you, you will see. Ya, yeah, allá en diciembre, el 20 de diciembre me van a estar diciendo cuánto han avanzado. And you will say, teacher, I change. I, I have a lot better on this and this. Investigate, investigate vocabulary. For example, that is a good tip. Y ese tip me lo dio uno de los chicos de, de un módulo anterior. Yo les mandaba el tema y él leía historias relacionadas a ese tema. Un día les pregunté este, cuál había sido su, su peor travesura de, de, de chiquitos. Entonces él se fue a leer en internet como historias de la gente de cuando eran chiquitos. Y ahí, de, de esa idea, de ese vocabulario, él hacía sus audios. So, it is an extra thing. Esto nos invita a ser creativos, a ser un poquito más curiosos, a investigar más vocabulario, a no quedarnos solo con lo que conocemos. Investigate, read. It is okay. No es necesario que les mando la, la imagen y al segundo me mandan el audio. That's perfect. I love it, but... If you want to prepare it, if you want to write it, if you want to try to practice, it is a lot better as well. So that's another option that you can do. But send the audio, right? Not like, ay, lo preparé, teacher, y se me olvidó. No, send it, okay? That's the idea. And if you cannot do it during the week, maybe on Saturday and Sunday, catch up with the topics, okay? But the idea is that you produce the language. Well, good evening, everybody. It's a big pleasure to be with you again. And for sure, for me, it is a great happiness to be in the class with all of you. Today is our class number two, and uh, we're going to work a little bit on <clears throat> personality traits. We're going to work a little bit on adjectives. We are going to do a little bit of production as well. Yesterday, we started. But today we are going to continue with that section of uh, the introductions that we did yesterday. Do you remember that yesterday you created your, your introductions? So we are going to, uh, to try to, to practice a little bit on that. Yesterday we were doing this. We were meeting the team yesterday. You are my team. You are my team of students because we are working together, right? Somos un equipo, todos. So we are a little team that we are practicing. And the idea is that we grow together. I need, I need seven volunteers from the team to share your introduction with the group. Raise your hand on the platform. Pueden subir su manita en la plataforma y van a compartir su presentación que hicieron ayer. My name is, I like to do this and that and that. I need seven. I have one. Ya tengo a una. Necesito seis más. Okay. Only six, please. Okay, Sandrita. Very good. Okay, Josué. Very nice. I have three. No la bajen. Ahí dejen. Okay, José Arturo. Suba la manita en la plataforma para que me pueda salir ahí en la... Okay, good. Vanessa. Thank you very much. Manuel. Rosita. And let me see. Okay, José Arturo, ya encontró la manita en las reacciones, la puede encontrar. <clears throat> ¿Dónde están las caritas? Ahí está. Excellent. Okay, I have two, four, six, two, four, six, eight. Okay, I have eight. And if someone else wants to do it later, we're going to do it. We're going to start with Gladys. Gladys is the first one on the team to talk. Go ahead. Okay, good night. Good evening, everyone. And I'm Gladys Imelda Sánchez. You can call me Imelda. Um, I'm an independent photographer. Uh, well, I just start to learn English with a TV show called Friends. Then I went to ITCA from INSAFOR, but the program was finished, so I couldn't uh, continue. 
El, I love spend a time editing videos, taking picture, also making any craft. Um, what else? I don't like being in places with uh, where there are a lot of people because make me anxious. And okay. speaking in public, neither. Um, to practice English, um, my brother write me a lot of English um, anytime. So I need to improve talking because I understand uh, listening and reading, but it's hard to me con conjugation and tenses. Okay, very good. It is so curious that you are a photographer and you don't like to be in places with a lot of people. <laughs> that is very that, curious. That I, I mean, I'd like uh, ferias and uh -huh. some places like that. I I work in, in that, on that. <laughs> hey, yes, that's so nice. Yes, it's a psychology thing. I know, I know. It, it is It is like this This fear of being surrounded by people. It happens to me on the buses. A mí yeah. me pasa con los buses. <laughs> I don't <laughs> like it. When the bus is crowded, I go down, even if it is yeah. not my, my stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm a, I'm, I don't like it, but, but I don't eh, evitar, ¿cómo se dice? Avoid. I don't avoid. Okay, good, but that is nice. A clap for Gladys, please. There you go. You. Lo vemos a todos en cámara. Le pueden dar un aplauso a Gladys. There you go. Thank you very much. Nice job. Nice job, Gladys. Thank you. So you need, you need to work on talking in uh, verb conjugation. Very good. Sandra, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Sandra. Uh, I study a uh, civil engineer in the US. Um, uh, I studied before English um, in other places, but I didn't press practice. Uh, so I forget a lot of things. Uh, I enjoy taking a rest and, and spend my time with my nephews. And I cannot stand working under pressure. Uh, I see movies or practice with friends uh, to improve the English, but I think I need to spend more time uh, practice vocabulary and grammar too. Okay, nice. Thank you very, very, very much. It is very curious, right, that uh, you studied. Where, what was the university that you study at? U.S. Ah, U.S. Okay, good, 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 good. Nice. And you love to spend time with your niece, with your nephews. That's so nice. Thank, yes. thank you, Sandrita. Very good information. Claps for Sandra, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Son gratis. Don't worry. <laughs> Josue Isaias, go ahead. Hi, uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'm Josue. Um, I work as a warehouse and inventory manager in a company. Uh, well, my English journey, I had studied English in an academy, but due to some problems, I had to leave the, the classes uh, for a while. Currently, I try to catch up. Uh, yeah, I, I like I like the music, play music and make music, and no. I hate the no, the loud noise and the screens. <laughs> uh, I practice with uh, TV series and movies with the subtitles my in my English. Okay. And uh, personally, I think that I need to improve my patience and my self-confidence. Okay, your self-confidence. <laughs> yeah. And, and you make music. 
Yes. And you like music. Yes. That is curious. That's nice. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much, Josue. Say yes, Josue. Very nice. Thank you. You have to improve your patience. I think everybody, <laughs> we all. All the ones that are not participating right now, mientras todos los demás tal vez no estamos participando, you can send on the chat what you need to improve from English, okay? En el chat, ya sea de WhatsApp o de Zoom, pueden ponerme qué es lo que ustedes necesitan mejorar del idioma, okay? Mientras no estamos participando. Los demás que no estamos participando, me lo pueden enviar ahorita, ya sea en el chat de WhatsApp o en el chat de Zoom. What do you need to improve from English? Thank you, Josué Isaías, because you told me already. Let's listen to Carlos Alfredo. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Nice uh, my name is Carlos Alfredo Ramos Aguila. Uh, you can call me Carlos. Uh, just right now, I study in database management. I have a degree in computer science. I'm trying to learn English, of course in as much as I need to improve my, my speaking and listening skills. I have never received courses of English before this, but I learned some things, uh, reading books in English and investigating around the internet. I, uh, I consider I am so much Self thought. And I know a little bit about English, even though I I consider I consider to improve my skills between between them. Uh, speak speaking ones and listening ones. Um, I cannot stand when some people make fun of other ones. And finally, for learning English, I prefer reading a book every day at about five days and listening audiobooks for times a week. Okay. That's all. That's so good. Very, very good information. It is good to know that you are a data uh, expert. <laughs> so if we have any issue here, that's, you can help us to solve it. Excellent, Carlos. You sound a lot more fluent now. You see, the second time. It is just the second time in the night. Escucharon a Carlos la primera vez que participó en clase. And he was doubting and ting, 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 And now it was a lot more fluent. It's a matter of confidence, right? Be confident. Thank you very much, Carlos. A clap for you. Very nice. You did a very good job. Jose Arturo, go ahead. Uh, well, um, my name is Jose Arturo Ramirez. I'm 30 years old. Um, I'm a technician and air conditioner. And my English journey, um, <clears throat> I was to start, I was to start to study English uh, one years ago with um, English Corporativo. I start um, the Principiante Tres. Beginner three. Uh, Good. Yeah, beginner three. Um, and nowadays um, I'm here. Um, I really enjoy read, write, um, listen to music, uh, paint, um, and spend time with my family. I love um, staying home. Um, I hate uh, lose lose time um, because I like learn something new every day. Good. Um, I practice with my computer and some programs. Learn learn too much every day. Okay. Um, I, need, I need to improve my um, my speaking skills, my speaking fluency, and the grammar, and that's it. Thank you very much, Jose Arturo. Very nice, very nice explanation. Good job. You did a fantastic job. 
So you don't like to waste time. You don't like no. to waste time. That's the word. Yes. Waste is perder, right? Perder yes. el tiempo. Uh, you like to, to read, to write, right? And for sure, to practice your English a lot. So I will keep it in mind for your uh, next activities. Thank you, Jose Arturo. Very good information. Jasmine, go ahead. Thank you for the ones that are sending on the chat as well. I am reading them. Go ahead. Good evening. Uh, hi, my name is Jasmine Sosa. I work at Fede Credito in customer service and collections. Uh, also, I study public accounting at um, Pedagogica University. In my free time, I learning about the you know, world marketing. I study English for months in ProLingua Institute in 2008. I played soccer, but I hurt my knee. Ah. Then I changed my hobby. Currently, I enjoy visit the beach with my family or friends and sometimes I read and I love to sleep. <laughs> we love to <laughs> I, sleep. Yes, I have the lights. I can understand people liar. I often watch movies and listen gospel music. And what do I need to improve? Mm, the pronunciation and my speak and i i speak it quickly but i feel answery and block my mind when i round okay it, it makes you feel anxious right it anxious. makes you feel anxious it makes everybody feel anxious and you know i always say something and that is something very important it is not necessary to speak fast, to speak good, okay? Many people think that. Many people think that if you don't speak fast, you are not speaking good English. It is good to speak clear English than speak really fast. Because I have been in the United States and they say, it is very horrible when they say, huh? Sorry? Mm -hmm. Because you are trying to speak fast right and they don't understand it is better if you speak good and clear than fast and horrible so that's a tip that's a tip for you it is not that you're going to be Thank like you. hello everybody how are you today no <laughs> right in a normal in a normal speed okay but I know many people who say like es que no tienes que hablar como super rápido que no sé qué que no sé cuánto tal vez para atarantar al otro y que no te entienda but no, you have to do it clean and clear. Your English is good. Your pace is nice. I understood your message. And that you are doing good. You can improve it. But you are doing very good. A clap for Jasmine, people. Yeah. Thank you. Del aplauso del artista. Thank you very much. Manuel Aristides, go ahead. Hi, good evening, everybody. Hello. Um, my English vocabulary is very bad. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Go ahead. My, my name is Manuel Aristides, known as Tito Murcia. I work at the Ministry of Culture at the National Theatre. And I teach cultural, cultural management at the Matias Delgado University. Um, I didn't uh, like English, but no, that's live started study in English Corporativo. I want to continue. Uh, I like uh, to watch the movies and series why subtitle, subtitles in, in English and when I travel to visit my family in the United States. I like to practice English. Um, I will love to improve my pronunciation, maybe. Okay, your pronunciation. My pronunciation. My, my pronunciation. Very good. 
articulate, articulate. <clears throat> I am going to share a video with you tomorrow about phonemes and how to articulate. You are going to learn a lot from it. You, it will be useful for you, Manuel. Le va a servir un montón. Ya va a haber un video que le voy a enviar el día de mañana, que es el que toca para mañana. Es acerca de fonemas y articular. Cómo articular con, con, con su boca los diferentes sonidos. It will be you. useful. Last but not least, Rosa Esmeralda, go ahead. Uh, my name is Rosa. I 23. Um, I actually teach student um, uh, in the corporativo. I, I improve it in English, uh, grammar, listen. Um, um my practice in English is I watch TV and um I watch TV series. Uh that's it. Okay, you watch TV series, that's very good. It's very useful in English and with the subtitles in English. Okay. Thank you, Rosita. Very good. A clap for Rosa, very good. Y nuestra última participante del día, Olivia, go ahead. Uh, good evening. My name is Olivia Osorio. I work in uh, Mexicanos in a school. I'm a teacher. Um, my English journey. Um, early uh, vocabulary basic. I began to study a little at the University of El Salvador. Oh, yeah. only, only two cyclists has only has requirements. I took two cyclists. Um, I, uh, um, English Corporativo. Okay. Uh, I enjoy the most uh, short, short time with my song travel to new place, uh, go out with the, my friends, uh, spend time with my family, hit family and, and rest. <laughs> I think everybody, uh, everybody loves that. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot stand uh, negative people, lies, self means, injustice, etc., etc. Nice. I I need to improve in English practice a lot. I need to improve comprehension, reading, and pronunciation, grammar, etc. Okay, comprehension. You say comprehension. Comprehension, grammar, listening. People remember that when you write English, E is always capital, okay? I was sending some corrections in the in the chat and also in the WhatsApp group about uh, the writing, speaking, you say. Speaking, S-P-E-A, right? Speaking. Well, I am going to call the attendance before moving on the topic. And remember, when you listen to your name, say here or present, okay? Alejandra Cristina? Here. Thank you. And Astrid Michelle? Here. Thank you very much. Uh, Blanca Stella. Blanquita. Uh, Carlos Alfredo. Carlos Alfredo. Hello. Present, you say. Uh, Present. Ya pasé. No, ah, that's why I was like, present. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Recuerden que siempre queda como grabado el momento que se presente y está en cámara. ¿verdad? Don't worry. Claudia y Annette. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Eh, Ever. Present Miss. Thank you. Gabriela Stephanie. Present. Gladys Imelda. I'm here, teacher. Griselda Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Vanessa. Present Miss. Joaquín Ruperto. Here I am, teacher. Jose Arturo. Present. Jose Emanuel. 
Mr. José Emanuel. Ey, por aquí estaba. ¿Qué se me hizo? Mr. Emanuel. Emanuel. Thank you. Eh, Josué Isaías. Here, teacher. Lilian Estela. Present. Luis Fernando. Present. Luis teacher. Roberto. Thank you. Luis Roberto. Present. Madeline Gabriela. Present. Madeline. Manuel Aristides. Present. Thank you. Eh, Olivia Emanuel. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, let me see, Paola María. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Esmeralda. Present teacher. Sandra Cecilia. Present. Walter René. Present teacher. Jenny Maritza. Present teacher. Ok, Madeline, Madeline, Madeline. No estamos. Hmm, no está Madeline. Ok, perfect. Madeline, solo ya me faltó. Y Blanca Estela. Blanquita. No. No está Blanquita. Ok, so. Let's work on the next thing that I wanted to share with you. Thank you very much for sharing uh, your information, the ones who did it and the ones who didn't do it, you can send me the information on the chat about the things that you need to improve. Well, <clears throat> you know, when you are looking for a specific person, you look for a specific facts or things or traits about a person. Here I have two different things. What do ladies look for in a partner and what do men look in a girl? What is the most important thing that you look for in a person? Do you care if the person is very beautiful or very handsome or do you go beyond, okay? What do you look for in a person? What is the most important thing when you look for a good partner? We are going to discuss this like in a couple of minutes. I am going to give you some ideas. What do you look for? ¿Qué es lo que buscan ustedes en un compañero de vida? Ya sea novio, novia, esposo, whatever. The ladies look for love, understanding, conversation, time together, a positive attitude, a good listener, affection, responsibility, free time, and good health. And the boys look for uh, someone who believes in his capabilities, understanding, compliments, acceptance, direct conversation, affection, respect, free time, trust, and companionship. What do you look for in another person when you are looking for a partner or when you found that partner? Los que ya lo encontraron. What was important about it? I am going to give you around three minutes for you to discuss Emotional with a person. Maturity. You are going to uh, discuss Emotional with someone. Maturity. Emotional maturity is very important, <laughs> definitely. So I am going to give you a couple of minutes, like two or three, and you are going to be in couples. Van a tener una pareja y van a discutir what is the most important for you in a person. If you say like, no, I really like that the ladies are very beautiful. I really like that the boys are very handsome, right? What do you look for in a partner? ¿Qué buscan ustedes en una persona especial? Go and talk to your partner about it. No vamos a ir a hablar con su pareja about this. Go ahead. Discuss it. Go ahead. A couple of minutes only. Just like two or three. Accept my invitation, people. Thank you, thank you. I am missing Paola, Emmanuel, 
to find a partner. Paula Maria. Hello, Paula Maria, Emanuel, no sé si me escuchan y preguntarles si recibieron la invitación para unirse a los grupos. Hello, hello. Important. Loyalty, no. sugar. Yes, Loyalty. yes. Yeah, very important. Trust. Yes, yes. The, the trust, the, the, the trust, yes. Uh, okay. It's for the for the base, for everything now. Good. The, and then, uh -huh. and, no, so sorry, teacher. No, 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 go ahead, continue. No, no, I think that this uh to respect the uh, good feeling and the truth i think this is the base for whatever relationship you know in the beginning or in the during the relationship too and the and then the i think uh the ganancia <laughs> all the rest all the rest is for free it comes along rest. you say no no say Everything in, else in the time comes with the... alone. Esa es la frase. Comes alone. Comes along. O sea, todo viene por añadidura. Everything yeah. else añadidura. comes along. Yeah. Good. Continue. Everything else comes alone. Comes alone. Whoever that that for me the to practice on uh, soccer or whatever whatever uh, sport. Yes. yes. Um, and she like to to play apoyo sería support 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 uh, apoyo verdad teacher yes support a support. person who supports you economical physical mental emotional emotional, emotional. emotional para no yeah. para el psicólogo <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and you're. I think um, it is important that when you look for a person, you have to look for a friend as well, because it is not like ah, he's my husband, but he's my best friend. Hello. It's like, hello, sweetie, that's, how are you? <laughs> that's um, <laughs> suena raro, como se that's weird. It sounds weird. Weird. Uh huh. Right. But but it happens, right? <laughs> he loves the <laughs> camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, baby. How are you? Hello. How are you, sweetie? Fine. Same Fine. Thanks. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Continue sharing, girls. I will come back in a second. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Um, so, yes, hello. So the, the, the third characteristic was uh, respect, love, and uh, teacher, how do you say confianza? Trust in a relationship. Trust. Trust. Oh, okay. Trust. Okay. Trust. Trust. It's T R U S T. I, I, I told to to Walter that for me a relationship with a, in a couple person needs to be three 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 rules. If uh -huh. we can say that one in respect, two low, and three trust. De yes. Definitely, I agree with you. Definitely. That's a must. If you don't have the three of them, you better 
stop the relationship. Nice. Yeah, with one rule, break out the relationship is in trouble. The relationship will be in trouble. Very good. Thank you for the advice. I will go for the last group. Voy a ir al último grupo. Ya vuelvo. Okay. No. It's an, it's an easy. But I I think the the compensation is very important in an environment, an environment together. Com uh -huh. The comprehension is okay. very necessary, definitely. <laughs> Uh, in in a relationship, you say understanding. Understanding. Com comprehension is like, aha, te escucho, te comprendo, right? But understanding oh. is a matter of listening, analyzing, sharing, and helping. That is understanding. Okay. Nice, nice tips. Good. Continue, continue. I'm. Hello. 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 <laughs> what is the most important for you in a person? For me, his personality and also intelligence. A personality and intelligence, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine? Um, for me, uh, respect, a good communication. Good. A responsibility that's important right good communication and responsibility because uh, i hate when they say i thought you were going to say that it's like you thought come on i cannot read your mind <laughs> tell me <laughs> it's like, good communication very nice okay let's go back to the room because we are going to share with everybody okay let's okay. go back okay Bye. Welcome back, welcome, welcome. You know, I, I really like these deep discussions about life. Welcome again. <laughs> <laughs> deep, deep discussions about life are good. Hola. I like them. Hola, Luis. <laughs> Hola. When, when you say like, you know, I really like this one, or I really enjoy that one. I really want a person that is like this. I heard some of some expressions that were very catchy for me. Um, catchy is like when it gets your attention and it's like, huh, what? That it's catchy, right? Intelligence is important. Respect is important. Trust is important. Friendship is important. And also communication, Lo good communication and loyalty loyalty you know you were mentioning some of the words and you say comprehension and it's like yeah we can uh we can have a little bit of comprehension but in a relationship you say understanding understanding i listen to you i analyze i help you that is understanding right and good communication i was giving an example to some groups that they say say the things at the moment that they need to be said because they say es que yo pensé que me ibas a decir no we cannot read or mine you cannot read the other person's mind tell whatever you need to tell so that it's good someone who is a good listener it's going to be a good partner but it's better to have a good speaker so you agree with many of them if we could have in a top one, which one would you put in the top one? ¿Cuál pusieran en el número uno? The most important. Mention it. Don't worry. Emotional um, matureness. Good. I think, I think um, one of the most important is respect. Respect. Very good. Another one that you could put in the top one. <clears throat> no sé cómo se dice teacher, pero... Eh, 
Yo busco la palabra que haya química. No sé cómo, cómo ponerlo. Ok, well, chemistry, that's good. It's good. Uh, chemistry. chemistry yeah. That chemistry. you have chemistry, understanding, right? That you make, that you click with the other person. That yeah. you match with the other person. Right? Eso, match. That you match. That it's the word, match. So, that it's the top one. So, we are going to finish today as the last or last exercise with a short conversation. And it says, let's see, here you have two people talking about someone. And it says, do you have, do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Actually, no, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Hmm. What kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who are in too serious or who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Uh, what else? Well, I would prefer someone I have something in common with who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you, Bob Bransom. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. Okay, I will ask him to meet us for coffee and you can tell me what you think. <laughs> Do you think that he, he got the idea? No. ¿Entendió el mensaje el muchacho? No. <laughs> no. I think, <laughs> I don't like, think so. <laughs> uh, and then it's like, ah, seven years later, right? Ah, it was me. Ah, and I did. Guys. <laughs> so you see, <laughs> boys, boys. Open, da, da, da. Boys. Open, open your ears, boys. It's like, ahí inmediatamente se lanzó a la friend zone. <laughs> It will be on the family zone <laughs> forever. Okay, new words or new vocabulary that you have here? Or do you know all of them? And we can go straight to the practice. I think it, the vocabulary is very easy. So go with me, practice with me. Do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Do you have a date for your friend's wedding yet? Actually, no, I don't. Actually, Actually, no, no I, I don't. Do you know anyone I can go with? Do you know anyone, anyone I, I, I can go with? Do, do you know anyone I could go with? Do you know, do you know anyone, anyone I can go, go with? with? Mm, what kind of guys do you like? What kind of guys do you like? What kind of guys do you like? Okay, guys is... is tipos, chicos, right? Don't think in the wrong way. What kind of guys do you like? Oh, what? I like guys who aren't too serious oh, and yeah. who have a good no, sense I of like humor. Guys who are too no, serious. Okay, now we are going to do it like in a conversation. Ahora lo hacemos como que de veras me lo está contando. You say, oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Oh, no. Okay, uh, what else? What else? Okay, what else? Well, I would prefer someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. Well, I prefer someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you. Bob Brands, do you know him? I think I know. I think I know just the guy for you. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, I will ask him to meet us for coffee, and you can tell me what you think. 
Okay, and you can tell me what you think. When you are practicing something like this, when you are practicing a conversation, it is really important that you imagine that you are telling me the information, okay? De verdad, hagámoslo como que me lo estuvieran contando. And it is going to be a lot more fluent, okay? I will share the conversation in the chat so you can practice during the day and you can practice tomorrow, okay? So we are going to use it tomorrow in class. Let's investigate a little bit more on personality traits, okay? Personality traits. Investigate about that a little bit more so you can have more ideas for tomorrow's class. It is on the chat, personality traits or personality adjectives, okay? That it's going to be for tomorrow's class. Thank you very much, my dear students. Thank you for your time. Give yourself a big hug tonight and I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, my dear teacher. Bye, have a good night. Have a beautiful night. Bye. Bye. Bye.